Hi, my name is Daryl. Today I'm going to give you a quick tip. You may find yourself uh, needing to use plywood in your projects, or uh, in this case I'm using melamine board. And these, these materials are great for large expansive pieces, such as the side of a bookcase, the top of a desk, uh, bookshelves, uh, things like that, sides of cabinets. Um, but the thing you'll find uh, common to all the to plywood and melamine and uh, different materials like that are the ugly edges. So what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to use veneer tape to hide the edges um, on this kind of material. Now I have two different types of melamine, uh, two different types of veneer tape here. I have the white melamine, obviously because I'm working with white melamine, and also I have some oak here, just to show that they do make it in uh, several species of wood. So uh, anyway, that's that. And the tool that I'm going to be using today are uh, this fast cap speed roller, and it comes with two sets of wheels. It comes with rubber wheels and steel, also a razor blade. And I have this tool here, which cuts, which will trim both sides of the veneer tape at the same time. These are readily available even at the big box stores. I think I got this one from, uh, and obviously, you're going to need a knife for your heat source. I like to do the edges first so that when I look at the front of the piece, that I'm not looking at the edge of that veneer tape. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, lay this out. You want to leave a little bit on the front and a little bit on the back because once you apply heat, it'll tend to want to move a little bit on you. So you want to have a little bit uh, extra on both sides. You just cut a piece a little bit bigger and then just roughly center it. You don't have to be perfect because you're going to trim off what's left over. You just want to make sure that you cover all the way to both sides. We're going to take our iron, set on cotton, and we're just going to pass our iron over it and let it uh, heat that adhesive. Okay. And to make sure you have good adhesion, you want to run over it with some type of roller. In this case, I'm going to use my speed roller because I have one. You can just as easily use a block of wood such as this or uh, the shank of a screwdriver, uh, anything of that nature just to uh, help promote good adhesion. And then I'm going to flip this over and do the other end and then I'll trim it. Next step, I like to go ahead and trim off the excess. So I put that down on the workbench and I take my blade and I get that right there lined up right with the, the cutting tip right here on the edge of the material. Just go ahead and cut that off nice and clean. Now to trim off the excess, you can just as easily use a razor blade and carefully slice your way down. But this little tool right here is, you know, twelve dollars or so. Uh, it's pretty inexpensive, and uh, it just makes things a little easier. Uh, you can get both sides done at the same time, which is nice. It has, if you look at the end of it, it's got a little extra space here on the edges so that the overhang has somewhere to go, and it hasn't. It also has an arrow to indicate the cutting direction. So let's go ahead and take care of that.
So that pretty much completes our our shelf here. Um, I like to take a little sandpaper. These edges can be pretty sharp uh, right after you finish that. I like to take a piece of sandpaper and just angle it approximately 45 degrees and uh, just lightly take a little bit of that sharpness off, rocking the sandpaper back and forth. have a nice shelf with uh, nice finished edges all right I hope you found that tip useful um, I'm sure a lot of people have already seen that done before uh, but for those of you who haven't um, that's how it's done uh, and now we have a finished shelf ready to hang on the wall these shelves will actually be going into onto some adjustable standards in a craft room at a friend of mine's house so uh, that's, uh, that's about it for this tip. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, be sure to subscribe to my channel and like the video.